What's up YouTube vlog? I got something real cool for you I want to show you today. Um, I got some new baits in today in the mail and I just figured I'd kind of walk you guys through and show you some real cool stuff that I just got in. Um, I got two boxes today. It's always cool. Isn't it always cool when you get home and there's that little white priority or white FedEx mail or uh, a rod tube sitting in the driveway when you get home? That's like the best feeling, best way to end the day. Just got off the water from doing a guide trip on Lake Hartwell with my, um, some guys that came down to fish with me for a day or two. Look forward to that video. It's a lot of fun. We get, you'll, you'll laugh a lot on that one. But I'm going to show you some of the stuff we got here. If you guys out there looking for somewhere to buy some tackle from, my buddy Kevin Baxter, he also has a YouTube too uh, that he talks strictly about baits. And if you want to know the difference between certain different type of crankbaits, if this plastic and that plastic, that'll be the YouTube channel for you because he knows a lot about baits and what's the difference between one manufacturer versus another. Check out Kevin Baxter. I think it's Baitman TV. Um, but anyway, I got some baits for the next tour tournament. Some Spro stuff. Uh, a few Bummer Fat A's. I'm kind of lazy. Like, I'm either on the water or having to do something that I don't really want to do. I want to be on the water. And then, otherwise, if I'm not on the water, I'm doing something I probably really don't want to be doing. But, what I'm really excited about is um, I met this guy a couple years ago. Well, actually, it's been a long time ago. When I was fishing the BFLs, I fished with a guy, and um, he won't let me reveal his name. I wish I could do it to, to thank him for He made me some crankbaits, and I want to show them to you guys. Here's some of the baits right here, man. These, um, I mean, just the time and precision that it takes to make one of these crankbaits. I really appreciate him sending them over to me. You know, if even if, if a handmade plug designer were to, to charge... I mean, even 30 bucks a piece for one of these plugs. I mean, the time that they have put inside one of these is, I mean, I, I don't see, I understand why a lot of guys got out of, out of it. It's just, a, I think, a lack of appreciation um, for what it takes to build one of these baits. The time they have water testing them, seeing what works right. It even takes the time to put a rattle in these. That's a real subtle rattle. But these are great baits, and man, and I, I just really appreciate I really appreciate the, the time and the effort that's put into these baits. Look at that. That's I mean, that color right there. Like I said, I don't know the name of a lot of these colors. And he may not even have a color. I think he just makes them up and, and paints them. I really appreciate it. I mean, it's just somebody that I met. It's kind of funny. It's just somebody that I met fishing the BFL several years back. And uh, we just kind of been friends since then I saw him at the classic a few days ago or, um, and I, I just kind of made an innuendo hey I, I may have to call you and get you to make me some baits because when I first met him he gave me a few baits but uh, I really appreciate the time to, to actually send me some even the care that he took to wrap these babies up when he sent them to me um, I'll show you the wake bait here that's really like that is a cool bait you guys that uh, like to throw weight baits it's not a really big deal here my area of the country, but I'm going to try to make it a big deal by using it here. That's a weight bait with a computer board um, bill in it too, which is pretty neat. But he's made me some crankbaits, and they're all handmade balsa crankbaits. And like I said, I'm sure some of you guys out there can really appreciate this. Some of you may not. Handmade crankbait, hand, uh, handmade crankbaits have kind of fallen by the wayside. There used to be a lot of guys here in, in the southeast. They made crankbaits back in the day. I know my dad, I, I can remember going to, uh, to Jim Harder's shop and, and uh, there's a couple, couple guys around here. These are just normal people that make crankbaits, but they send these things all over the country. And um, right here in the southeast, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, that was like the heartbeat of this, this movement, probably in the late 70s, 80s, 90s, of handmade crankbaits about what makes these baits special a balsa crankbait these are balsa wood crankbaits and what makes them so much special what makes them so different is balsa wood just reacts and deflects off of rocks wood and structure in the water way differently than you know like a manufactured plug like like these that I, that I ordered from tackle freaks you know these are great baits and they catch fish too 
um, obviously, but it's just something about fishing a balsa wood crankbait. Oh my God, look at this bait here. There's another one of those. I don't know what colors that is, but there's a red one in here that I'm about to die for. Absolutely unbelievable. And nobody sent me a message in the comments about how much I'm going to sell these for because that is, that is unreal. I'm keeping these things forever. That's a red one. Um, but back to what I was saying, the, the, what makes these baits so special is the way they deflect. Why, so why throw a balsa wood crankbait over um, a poly bait or, or, or whatever you want to call it, the, the plastic bait. It's something you're going to buy in the store. The reason you wouldn't, sometimes the balsa wood baits work better. Number one, there is a lot tighter action to it. They, they have a really tight action. Two, they deflect off wood. They're very wood. Wood is a lot more buoyant than plastic. So it's going to back out of structure a lot better. So they don't hang as bad. If I'm running around rock or something like that, if I get it to dig down in somewhere, I can give that bait slack and that, that bait will float back out of it because wood is a little bit more buoyant. And sometimes just the way that it deflects off of structure, the little bit uniqueness in the in the sound and the action and the way that it deflects sometimes that can be the ticket to getting more bites so that's why you want to throw balsa bait it takes a lot more care every one of these baits i can guarantee you runs a little bit different because they're handmade i mean they're handmade one may have a little bit more paint or a little bit more clear on them one may be a little heavier than the other you may have two or three that just don't run right and it doesn't mean that it's an error on the hand on the guy that's making the plugs that's just the nature of having uh, a handmade plug. You don't take this plug when it gets leaves on it or when it gets grass and dirt on it. You don't take it and slap it across the water. You pick it up, you reel it up, you take your hand and you pull the grass off of it because it's a balsa bait. It's two pieces put together and if you abuse it, it's not going to last long. That's just the nature of having a handmade product. Is It's a little bit more fragile. There's an art to it. But man, they are special. If I had to pick a couple of my favorite of course it would be the reds, black and chartreuse, and uh, probably this crawdad color here. Those are my three favorites, for sure. I don't know if you can see them there. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Stay tuned, we got another video coming up. I promise you don't want to miss it. We're gonna catch some giant spotted bass. May have that video up for you guys tomorrow. Peace, I'm out.